Hello everyone, we're back. Um, wanted to take this opportunity to do a tech talk. We have one of my favorite motorcycles ever, Christine RS1000RR. Uh, it's a 2010, got a lot of experience with it. It's a wonderful motorcycle. Um, <clears throat> there is one little thing that I want to explain to you though, actually a couple, um, that can help you with the maintenance of your S1000RR. So what we're going to do, I'm going to talk about how to properly install the air cleaner in this bike. And it doesn't matter which air cleaner, stock air cleaner, aftermarket air cleaner, they all get installed the same way. But strangely, on this particular bike, it's pretty easy to jack up that installation and cause yourself grief. So what I did, I've already, I've already pulled the, the bolts out of this uh, gas tank cover here just to make things a little bit easier. Uh, all you really need is a number 25 Torx driver. And what we're going to do is get to the filter here. Um, typically, what I do when I'm maintaining uh, these bikes, pull off the vent lines here. And uh, these have been on and off, so they come off fairly easy. Sometimes you have to take a screwdriver and pry them back. But we want to sort of get these out of the way. And then <clears throat> we want to lift the ECU up. Now, there's no need to disconnect it, um, but uh, there is, uh, you do need to be aware of the fact that it does sort of obstruct what we're doing here. So um, you can pull it up this way, but I like pulling this little deal out of the plastic connector. Real simple and easy like. All right. And then if I remember correctly, it's been a long time, I had to cut a tie wrap. Uh, we've done a lot of air filter testing on this bike, but I had to cut a tie wrap back here, and uh, maybe it was back here, just to give us enough room to get this thing sort of up and out of the way. Now, uh, what we're gonna do, there's a little cover here, and um, you remove this cover, and <clears throat> typically there's a little retaining screw here, and I, I have mocked this up. Full disclosure, um, I mocked this up to sort of show um, what we have seen in the past. We had a customer that couldn't get couldn't get this cover over, and he's like, you know, Brock, I, I just put a piece of tape over it, put it back in, everything was good. Well, that's awesome. And you know, you can see the filters in here. If you look here, there's no gap. Everything's clamped. Seems good to go, right? Well, look at this. Watch what happens when I wiggle this. Uh-oh, stock filter, not mounted properly. So what I'll do, I'll just show you what we can do here. Get these hoses sort of out of the way. This is a, this, I'll, I'll admit, it's a, it's, it's a challenging, <laughs> it's a challenging design, but you think about the, the, the space constraints that the engineers have these days. Um, not, it's not easy. So let me show you. I've got an S1000RR airbox over here. So what we'll do, I'll show you what just happened. Now the way this is supposed to work, <clears throat> this is the little cover I was telling you about. It gets installed and there's a, there's a little uh, retaining clip here that you just use a Phillips head screwdriver. We'll pull that out of the way for now. All right, all the air cleaners for the S1000RR are designed to fit inside the frame and then see these three little tabs? That's what was done incorrectly before. So um, if I take this and don't, and don't put the tabs in, line everything up, clamp it down, so this is basically what we had. From the top it looks fine, but if you look from the bottom, we're definitely not sealing. So the proper way to install this, this is the actual seal here, right? This is a captured groove. So what you really have to do 
is come in at a little bit of an angle. Make sure you've got your tabs in place. Then press it forward, lock it down, and you see we have a nice even space all the way around and we're sealed up tight. So, can that happen? Yes, especially with um, inexperienced um, installers. Now, what I'd like to do now, and this, is the, uh, this is the stock air cleaner from BMW. It's a fantastic product, you know? And we're in the aftermarket performance business. And I can tell you that this filter up until the Sprint filter came along, we only used stock. And believe it or not, our trackside testing showed with the BMW that the bike actually performed better with the filter in place than it did with it removed. There's our other bikes we've seen that with, the ZX14 is one. We're not sure if it's turbulence, we don't have the ability to measure all that, doesn't really matter. But when you, when you want to put in a performance filter to try to go faster, um, you have some you have some options now these are various filters this is the sprint filter p08 this is an oil gauze million mile warranty and this is our favorite european filter well let me show you something that all of these filters have in common they're soft frame right so what what's the problem with a soft frame well i'll show you If this filter gets installed, but it's not locked in, I'll show you this here. Seems good, right? Well, the problem is, if you look down in here, I can put my finger in there. Obviously, it's not sealing. Does that make it a terrible filter? No. Um, you know, it just means that the installer has to be a little bit more careful and realize that because this groove exists, if you don't straighten this filter up to get it in the groove, then it's not properly seated, so it can't properly do its job. Now, um, we've actually had, yet again, full disclosure, we've had some customers that have sent back their filter and said, you know, Brock, this, this filter's not sealing. I don't know what's wrong. I'm afraid it's going to damage my bike. Well, we have we have several of these. You know, we we replace their filter. But if you if you look at what's going on here, um, if I try to put this here, it's been in too far, and I don't know I don't know if you can catch it with the camera. Do you see that line? It goes away, and then you get a line here. Well, that's basically telling you that it hasn't been properly seated. And we've even, on this particular one, oh, yeah, it even had a split where it had rolled it, rolled it back. So, same thing. Is there anything wrong with this filter? Well, this one is permanently damaged, so yes, it is. But if you look at the Sprint filter, all right, it's the same as the other ones. Just if you're conscious to straighten that up, now when it drops down in here, it's gonna seal all the way around. It's gonna clamp down tight. And when it's clamped, you you it can't fold in here. Let me let me sort of show you that. Because these things clamp down pretty good. So when properly assembled, all right. 
So when properly assembled, which you can't see this when it's on the bike, but you can see sealed all the way around here. Now let's see if I can put my finger in there. No, it's 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 caught. It's captured. You can't do it. I can't even. I can't. <laughs> I can't even force my finger past it. So when properly installed, it seals very tight. Now, um, what we've done, we asked our friends at Sprint, we said, hey, you know, we want the best product possible. And would you be able to adjust the frame so that we don't have to worry about this problem happening with Sprint filters anymore? More. So I don't, all right, here's, here's stock, right? Stock moves also. Um, so this is what we asked the guys at Sprint Filter to do. They now have a thin strip molded inside here. And look at this. It's actually a little more rigid than the stock air cleaner. Is this one better than this one? <laughs> they are the exact same filter. And if installed correctly, they will both do exactly the same thing, which is allow you to go faster than this one. Um, if you have this one, do you need to replace it with this? No, they're, they're really, they're the same. All this is is just sort of a version that makes it less difficult to install incorrectly. So I hope... I hope uh, that we that we sort of made our point here. Not bad mouthing anything. These all do about the same job. We do personally, and I I, I spe specifically do. I prefer the performance of the Sprint filter. I'm in the performance business. I'm in the go fast business. Our customers want to go faster, and until these filters came along, there was no way to go faster than this. And if you're one of those guys that, you know, performance aside. I've just got to have the best filtration possible for my bike. Man, these are tough to beat. I'm not going to lie to you. They, there's a lot of engineering behind these. These are really, really good filters. You have to replace them, so it costs you money. These are like a lifetime, and they're super easy to clean. Um, but each has its advantage. Each may have a little bit of a disadvantage. But all in all, they have to be properly assembled no matter what. So um, hope this helped. Until next time. Tech Talk. I'm Brock from Brock's Performance. We'll see you then. F1. Nothing but the best for my Christine. I'll show you how to put this thing back in. I just like to get the hoses out of the way. Pull this back. Basically, Almost straight down. Nice and solid. Put on my close up eyes and just look real nice. Not poked out. Can't get my finger in there. Everything's sealed up good. Nice consistent edge all the way around. Now, sort of push these. Hoses that go back out of the way. Same thing. It's really important to try to go as straight in as possible so that we get these three hooks in. And you can feel it when it goes incorrectly, that just sort of slides into place. Lock it down here. All right. Now, if 
you can see, come over on this side. See this little opening? That opening corresponds with this tab. So you basically slide it back. There you go. Got it all locked in. Screws back in. Nice, everything's nice and tight. Put this connector holder back in. Slip the vent and overflow tubes on. Otherwise, if you overflow your tank, it'll dump gas all over your bike. You don't want that. And then just reinstall the cover. That simple.